an error for a St. Pete woman who has devoted her life to helping those less fortunate. For the past 21 years, Jane Walker has been the executive director of Daystar Life Center. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd spoke with her before her retirement later this week. Hey, wh why are you here today? When Jane Walker greets a client, she just doesn't ask what they need, but how they're doing. Would you call it a calling to want to go into community service? I would absolutely call it a calling. I would, uh, I honestly feel like I was led to it when I was in sixth grade. Jane has been instrumental in taking Daystar Life Center from an 1800 square foot office to their new 10,000 square foot center on 28th Street. Very much of a struggling neighborhood that's a medical desert, it's a food desert, it's a banking desert, all the things that most of us take for granted. Jane feels the struggles personally. These clients are like family. And I knew the area because I grew up in it and I watched the highway come through and displace people. And, you know, we were kids together. The center served 52,000 people okay. in 2021, providing everything from food to clothing to medical care and more. We can't solve everything, but we can do our best to at least try to work on it and get people where we can and advocate for them. Hey, I'm back. Jane credits much of Daystar's success to the hundreds of volunteers who give their time and dedication every day. It's because they believe in Jane's mission. She's inspirational. She is. I mean, she to, really is. To spend 22 years, this is all Jane. It is all, all Jane. Some of these volunteers were once clients themselves, like Alicia. Yeah. It's sad to see her go because um, she's been there with me through thick and thin. Jane's years of service were even recognized by the city, proclaiming April 23rd, 2022 as Jane Walker Day. It uh, makes me know I was in the right place at the right time. Jane says just because she's retiring doesn't mean she is disappearing. It's that whole spirit of, um, you know, what more can I do? In St. Pete, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.